is Artifacts of Mars, and this is The Mental Disorder of Liberalism on Steroids. Remember that, uh, Paris Confrontators and Communists assorted slime men in Paris? Well, they won't listen to you and I. Our opinions aren't important. They ignore us, right? So who do they listen to? An ape. That's right. Coco the gorilla. Is this beyond belief or what? Uh, Coco is no quantity. It's a female ape. She can sign like 2,000 words. She was trained as a baby ape. Since she was a baby ape, to uh, be able to sign. And this is what the left is now holding up as a role model, as a brilliant spokesman, whatever, uh, for global warming. I kid you not, it's right here. I checked the story out, there's a video. Man Coco Love. Earth Coco Love. But man stupid, she said. Fix Earth. Help Earth. Protect Earth. This is what they're uh, holding up as a role model. They'll actually listen to an ape, but they won't listen to you and I. Does it get any worse? Well, who knows with these people. Well, this bunch it could well get worse. Coco the Gorilla. This is beyond... I... I have no words. I mean, they think that what a... an ape thinks is more important than what you and I think. I don't believe this. They're saying that an ape is smarter than you and I. Uh, are you people outraged yet? Or are you just going to blow this one off? Maybe uh, a few of you should get on, maybe all of you should get on the horn to your uh, congressman and say, Hey, what the fuck are these people looking? Sorry, I dropped the F-bomb, but what are they doing listening to a stupid ape? This is how policy is getting made. Now, an ape is considered an intellectual genius while they're considered to be above you and I. This has gone. This has gone on too far. It's time to throw every damn last world misleader out of there. If you're not outraged by this, and I uh, don't have. There's no reasoning with you. Now it's a beautiful animal, but come on. I'm Artifacts of Mars. I'm going to start cussing up a storm if I don't go.